In this course curriculum, we will learn about two biological living entities, that is bacteria and virus. The bacteria or virus are very much microscopic in their nature. So in order to see them, we need the help of a specialized instrument and that is called microscope. So microscope along with the microscopic techniques and the principles should be known to a microbiology student so that the detailed knowledge of the bacterial and the viral system is clear to the students. This course is not only useful for the students of undergraduate, postgraduate as well as for the students of medical science and paramedical sciences. This course is based on UGC CBCS syllabus and it is divided into two units. In all we have 37 modules. The first unit deals with bacteria and the second unit deals with virus. Now in the first unit you are going to learn the bacterial structural organization, the functional aspects of each component, the bacterial phylogeny, that is the systematics of the bacteria, the growth of the bacteria, the growth kinetics, the nutrition, different type of reproduction procedures that are available in the bacterial system. And in unit two, we are going to learn about viruses, the classification of viruses, the morphology, the structural organization, the reproduction, and the application of virology in our daily life. This course will be accompanied by e-content, model questions, and references, which will be very much helpful for the detailed knowledge of the whole module. The candidates who are eligible to take this course should be a 12th class pass out with a biological science as one of the major subjects. Any postgraduate or undergraduate student who has got biological sciences can also take up this course which is going to be covered with the bacterial and viral systems. All the students should be able to very well versed with the language of English as the medium of instruction will be totally in English only. At the end, you are to spend 8 to 10 hours a week going through the e-content, listening to the lectures and if you have any queries or any questions regarding the e-content or the lectures that you are going to listen, you can interact with me every week with your queries. So students get enrolled with this course and try to benefit from this course as far as possible and wish you all the best for your future studies.